Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at how I back up and compress my micro SD cards. The process I use has three stages. First we'll create an image of the SD card, then we'll shrink the image, and finally we'll compress it with 7-zip to save on disk space. To create the image I use a program called Win32 Disk Imager. It's a free program that most of you are probably familiar with. After downloading it from SourceForge, extract the downloaded zip file and launch Win32 Disk Imager. Click the folder icon and browse to and set a file name for where to save the SD card image. Make sure to select the correct SD card device from the device dropdown, then click read. Once the raw SD card image is created, I fire up a VirtualBox VM and use a Linux script called PyShrink to shrink the partitions on the image. To gain access to the raw SD card image from the Linux VM, I use a VirtualBox feature called Shared Folders. Select Shared Folders from the Devices menu, then click the folder with the plus icon and browse to and select the folder to share. Check the Auto Mount and Make Permanent boxes and set the mount point to slash host. Now inside the Linux VM, we should be able to navigate to slash host and see the raw SD card image. Now that we have access to the SD card image in Linux, we need to open a terminal and install a few prerequisites. With the prerequisites installed, we can use wget to download the PyShrink script. Then we'll use chmod plus x to make the script executable. And finally, we'll run the PyShrink script against our raw SD card image. The PyShrink script makes quick work of shrinking the SD card image, and usually completes in under a minute. As you can see in the output, it reduced the size of the SD card image to about 50%. After PyShrink has done its job, we're done with the Linux VM and we can close it out. The last step in the process is to use 7-zip to compress the already shrunk SD card image. Browse to the location of the SD card image, right-click on it, and select 7-zip, add to archive. Set the archive format to XZ and the compression level to Ultra, then click OK. Compressing the image will take some time, but as you can see, we've taken the 3.5 GB shrunk SD card image down to about 900 MB. At this point, I have a 900 MB SD card image that can be backed up as needed. When the time comes to restore the image, I can download Belina Etcher, point it to the XZ compressed archive, and write it to an SD card. And just like that, the image has been written to a different SD card and can boot up as normal. <laughs> 